Well, I have no friends, so I guess I'll just put on a movie tonight. Ah! Wow! Hey! Bob, what you doing? Mandatory fun time. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Hello and welcome to Mandatory Fun Time Channel. I am your host Shagito, and I am back with uh, some friends to play another Shadow Dark game. Uh, let's uh, go through who's here with me. Introductions. Hi, I'm Shadow. I'm playing uh, Brock, who is a dwarf who has a past that he's trying to redeem himself for. Uh, and so he took up the mantle of being a priest and is trying to adventure around and keep adventurers alive and remove people as a balancing force to counteract his wrongdoings as a young child. Uh, I'm Von Fungus. I'm playing uh, the Shadow Elf Zindrin, who is a plague doctor who used to be the doctor for a thieves guild, but one of his concoctions didn't quite work out. And uh, one of the captains of the thieves guild had a very, very vulgar demise. And uh, now he's uh, trying to make his money on his own while trying to stay hidden from the th said Thieves Guild. Sick. And I am Ash. I'll be playing the Tiefling Bard Dolk today. Uh, Dolk has a somewhat of a sordid past in his uh, local town's uh, military and has recently uh, taken up security for a local jewel jewelry. And he is also um, just, again, trying to make money on the side as being a bit of a sellsword mercenary. Uh, I'm Minfa. I'm playing Draxus Shadowclaw. He is a black dragonborn fighter who um, uh, was ex-military, got tired of you know, fighting people's wars for subpar pay and now wants to use the skills that he uh, has acquired to make his own fortune and hopefully get way more money because that's important. <laughs> nice. All right, so um, today we'll be uh, playing the Shadow Dark uh, little campaign one shot that I just threw together. I'm just going to try out some uh, tweaks to some of the rules. Uh, throw in a little homebrew spiciness to it and see how it goes. All right. So let's get started, unless anyone has any questions. All right. So you guys have been traveling for a, a good amount of time. Um, you know, you guys have all come together, um, basically following the same path of being a bounty hunter. Um, you guys met in different ways. You could have been at a tavern going after the same mark or actually out in the woods or in, in the environment, you know, chasing the same mark. Um, but there is something about each other that kind of clicked. And even though you guys have come from different walks of life, uh, you all kind of had this chemistry, this companionship, and you guys started just going as a group for all of your, your, um, your hunts. Um, basically any sort of humanoid um that had a price on his head you know there'd be uh, uh bounties out for him you guys would pick him up go out there kill him because most of the time it was uh dead it didn't really matter so you went out I there tried you tried work. saving that one that one time that's true <laughs> yeah oops oh well however <laughs> They, uh, you got paid for all of them. That's what you guys do. You guys have, uh, become a very, uh, well-oiled machine. Um, so you're just on your way back now. Um, you still have like a couple days ride or a couple days, uh, travel rather than, uh, back to the city to collect on your current bounty. Um, it's nighttime. It is, um, well, you know, in the late, late hours of the night, uh, you got a campfire going. You guys are just kind of bullshitting right now as far as uh, telling stories and all that. You guys was are our last mark easy? <clears throat> um, it was it was actually it turned out super easy. You overpacked. You have 
all these supplies on you right now for like another you know three days or whatever but um it turned out you didn't really need it you didn't need to camp out uh any locations you know uh observing your target it, it all went super smooth nice do we have a head in the sack you do <laughs> nice we have a head <laughs> in a sack <laughs> yep we have to prove death we let you carry it, of course. Of course! Draxus has no problem carrying that shit. Draxus probably seems like he might have more than one head uh, attached to him at any given point. <laughs> well, I mean, depending on how many uh, bounties I've been on. Unrelated. Taking the head. Bounties. Yeah, taking the head, and that's the easiest way because it has features to be, you know. If you bring somebody's ring back, they still might be alive. Hmm, true. I mean, but you I could drain it a little two. first. You don't have to just put it in your bag still dripping. Well, I never thought of that. It takes time. Who has time for that? <sighs> exactly. And we wonder why he always smells. <laughs> oh, we don't wonder. <laughs> it keeps people away from me. That's all I care about. <clears throat> The only people we want paying attention to us are, well, the people who pay us, frankly. So you guys are all, like, hanging out around a campfire. Um, <laughs> bullshitting, talking, having a few drinks, um, just kind of relaxing. A uh, The fire in, in front of you is, this, like, you know, um, a nice size campfire. It's not, like, petering out or anything. It's, it's going pretty good. It's roaring. It's a roaring campfire. When suddenly the blaze itself um, just grows like tenfold and a short burst and it just like kind of sends these um, kind of like a fire tornado upwards real quickly. Um, oh, cool. I jump back from the fire like, what the hell? Yeah, I jump back and pull out my greatsword, prepare um, myself. As the fire goes up, and uh, you guys jump back. You, you hear a, a man laughing. <laughs> so, oh, hello, friends. Hello. Oh, hello. What? Not sure if you're a friend yet. Oh, I'm I'm a friend. I'm just here to let you guys know I admire your work so much. So, so much. I was wondering if you guys would be interested in, in a, a deal or two concerning I don't I don't know if I can press those thing like key <laughs> I'm just Depends gonna look over much... at you and then look over at our dragonborn like what <laughs> depends on how much coin you have to drop well it's not about coin sometimes sometimes it's about power it's okay. about feeling powerful and he just smiles even bigger and you see like there's a gleam you know in his teeth pearly whites they shine a little bit but if you have power you have coin so i still want the coin yeah you you see dolt kind of stand up for a second and he was like kind of looks this character up and down sizing him up Says, I was wondering where you got that suit. You steal that from a scarecrow? He gives you this look like, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> listen, these are the finest threads in all the lands. You won't find something nicer than this. It's worth the more than all your souls. All our Pointing. souls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I like my soul, please. Thank you. No, thanks. <laughs> well, listen, what I'm doing here is trying to make a deal with you guys. I've uh, been watching you for a while. Uh, you guys do good work. And he points to the bag in the, or the head in the bag. Um, all I'm trying to do is get a win-win going on. Now, I I'm sure you you've heard stories of making deals with devils. You know, oh, no, they'll get your soul and stuff. But... 
have you ever considered the possibilities of what you could gain from such deals, the power that could come with them for doing what you're already doing? A, a devil? Is that supposed to be intimidating? I've seen scarier, scarier teddy bears than at a child's tea party. I'm gonna, um, very casually, because that's Dulk, right? Yeah, that's Dulk. I'm gonna very casually reach out a hand and put it over top of your mouth and be <laughs> like, "We we don't want to fuck around with devils." You get scared by teddy bears? Not. Oh god. That that's, that's sorry. That's all I took away from that statement. I never said I'm scared. I'm saying we don't fuck Not with you, devils. Him. Oh, okay. I met him. He. <sighs> Is she? Uh, never try to conversate with the barbarian. What am I doing? <sighs> the, the hand reaches <laughs> up uh, towards Dolk's mouth, and he slaps it away. But he um, kind of closes his mouth and gets the general message. Uh, you see this uh, gentleman kind of eyes you down, Dolk, for a second. There goes a, a solid moment of silence as he stares at you. And then his smile returns. Listen, all I'm trying to do is make a deal. But like I was saying, I know in the past people, you know, they get scared of deals and stuff. So that's why I wanted to come to you today. Let you know about this special deal that I have for you for right now. Not offering it to anyone else because I like what you do. I like what I've seen you guys do. And all I'm asking for you guys to do is continue that to go and find some bad, bad people and kill them for me. And what in did return, we get out of it? You get a lot of power. You get stronger. The more you do, the stronger you get. And what do we have to sell you? Well, normally it's your souls. But I could. I'd like to keep mine. Well, a lot of people do. Uh, it's whatever. They don't really need it. But if you want to keep it, how about a special clause? You give me 10 souls, and you can keep yours. And the powers I'm about to give you if you agree to this. So, my question is if we flat out say no. Are you going to be super pissed, DM? Me? No. Yeah. <laughs> you guys do whatever you want, man. I'm going to roll is, with the punches. Uh, is this a 10 soul per soul situation or 10 souls for all three of our souls? All four, four. of our souls. So like 2.5 each. Yeah, is this a 2.5 per soul trade-off or a 10 soul trade-off? 10 souls for your souls. Do schizophrenics okay. count for more than one? No. Okay, but you have to fully clarify. Ten souls total in a... for the group. Indeed. Okay. Yeah, the fine print's important. Very, Do animals important. have souls? No. Aww. And how do we I'm gonna give said souls? <laughs> what was that? Draxus? How do we give said souls? All you have to do is kill them. And when they're dead, you use this and he hands you, or he holds up like a dagger um, and you dip it in their blood. And then I'll know. Really, I can't say I've never dipped a dagger in blood before, so it seems easy enough. What? Well, the the next question I have is, what does he get out of it? The soul? No. I mean, like, other than the souls. What better part of this deal is he getting? Because they I usually mean, try for that. Isn't, like, souls every... Isn't souls, like, devil currency? We're making them rich. Brock, what do you think? I don't know how my god would like me working for a devil. Hmm. hmm. But you I haven't do. said anything about 
what type of souls you're looking for. Could they be right. evil people? Ah, uh, let's see. You're the smart run in the group, I see. So they are evil, all of them. Is your definition of evil and our definition of evil the same? <laughs> well, <laughs> these individuals will have a hefty body count in some way or shape or form. I know plenty of people like that. Worked with a few. Gross. More than a few. Hmm. Do we I also get gold? I mean, these people, people are powerful, so I'm sure they have gold on them. And what are you paying us with? Powers. Powers doesn't actually tell me what you're paying me with. Um, he uh, flicks his wrists. Uh, Dalk, your hand starts warming up as a fire spreads over it. Over my hand? Yeah, like it's encased in fire. It's a purplish fire. But it's not, it's, it's warm, but not damaging. Correct. He, uh, you see the, the gentleman in front of you, uh, look at you and say, well, aim at something other than me. Okay. Step behind the dragonborn. <laughs> okay. So I, um, I just aim at a tree or a wall or, or just something in the, in the short distance, kind of right. place, place my hand out straight to see what happens. You see this uh, stream of like bluish purplish energy, you know, start crackling from you as it goes out and hits this boulder that's, you know, like 15 or 20 feet away from you. Uh, the boulder cracks in half. That kind of power. It'll be different for all of you, but it'll grow with you. Uh, can we have a moment to discuss? Absolutely. Amongst ourselves without you listening. He uh, puts his hands up. <laughs> Be right over here. And he takes us, uh, you know, a few steps back. Look at the puddle. So I, I, I come back and kind of just looking at my hand, and I, I've seen, I've seen people like this from my time in the military. They come in with their million-dollar suits and Cheshire cat grins and promise the world, promise you a dollar and. When the payment times come, there's nothing left but a dime. I, I wouldn't trust this man as far as I could throw him. Can I make a roll to see if, with me being uh, a priest, have heard about a demon similar to this? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and do a, would it be a wisdom roll? Probably. Or in. <laughs> oh. <Nope. laughs> I mean, so close. yeah, it is super close. You needed the three. Um, so <laughs> what you do know is that devils make deals, um, you know, with mortals all the time. Uh, well, not all the time, but it, you know, it's been talked about deals with devils. Uh, usually the person loses because it's always their soul up to grab. Mm -hmm. Whatever soul is up for grab. What was that? I'm just speculating outside. If our soul is not up for grabs, oh, we need to make sure there's no time limit on how long it takes us to give said souls. So kind of as, as we're having this discussion, Dolk uh, looks around, kind of mostly looking at, um, at Broth and Zindrin. Says, listen, I've heard the saying, the devil's in the details, so... Do, you th do any of you know any lawyers? Perhaps we could have them review this contract before entering into it. If there's any sort of weird sub clauses that, that we might not be thinking of. The way Draxus was talking, I just assumed they were our lawyer. I am not smart enough to be a lawyer. But hmm. I have heard of people that are like lawyers for this kind of a deal. I don't know anybody. 
personally, but I have heard tales. I mean, the Thieves Guild had a couple on retainer, but I'm not really in good standing with them at the moment. The better question to ask is, uh, why would he need us? I mean, we are if fucking he could, good. If he... But then why would we need his powers? Let's, let's at least hear him out and see what what exactly people he's requiring us to kill. You know, perhaps if it's the same type of people we would hunt down normally, then what's the difference? Our souls are uh, possibly to be exchanged if we don't complete the deed in the time. Well, go one step further, and if they're a person in the line of such a business that might wi- wind up with them dead, why not us be the ones who take him out? I mean, personally, as long as my soul isn't up for grabs and I get paid at the end of the day, I don't care who hires us. All right. Let's hear out the rest of the terms. Yeah, over there. That one. All right, what are you guys doing? I've got no objections to this. I'm going to turn around and go, what is the time frame of these kills and who are we killing? Uh, he looks up and at you and like, oh, uh, well, I don't like time frames because it might take you a while to get to places. So we won't do time frames. What type of people? Always going to be some sort of murderer or involved in human trafficking, things like that. Uh, That's all you had to say. Are you having us? I are yeah. Are you trying to have us on retainer? Maybe. So there's no end do- to this deal. Well, After can. this deal, you guys can enter into a new deal or work as freelance if you want. But we can come to those details later on down the road. Do we get to keep the power if we don't renew the contract? Yes. Are you doing a Sound of Freedom bit? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the movie. <laughs> I'm Sorry, like, I, I, I'm like, I don't know what that means. I'm like, oh yeah, that movie. <laughs> uh, no. This isn't even the worst deal I've made in my lifetime, so... That concerns me more than it should. <laughs> well, that sounds like your problem then. Considering some of the Touché. things I had, to, and considering some of the things I had to do during my time in the military, I may have lost my soul uh, several years ago. Me too. I guess we're all part of the damned. So, specifics, Mister Doubly Dude. Yeah, Please. you never gave us your name. Call me Barney. Barney. <laughs> like a oh god. Can, can I tell if he's dinosaur. lying? Uh, of yes. course he's lying. <laughs> oh, can I try to? What would that be? I don't know. Like wisdom. Is it is an insight oh, like a wisdom roll? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yo. Wow, Zindrin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, broken Draxus. Um, this this could be his real name. <laughs> Zindrin, you uh, you can tell like this is probably maybe close or similar, or maybe it's shorthand. You know, like a a nickname. The devil never tell us his true name. I just look at him like, yeah, yeah, of course that's his name. (laughs) Here, let's all sign the contract. And he, like, out of, like, just his, like, shirt or coat pocket, he pulls out a long, you know, contract. Can we read all the fine print? Sure. He hands you the contract. Basically, I want to know from you is what the actual contract is. 
uh it goes over the specifics of um the deal between uh the devil barney and the u4 um will be in an agreement to slay 10 souls of barney's choosing um you will be given um powers to assist in the in these uh marks basically these uh you know these little missions um and at the end of the 10th soul or at the end of you know this contract of the, of the deal they talked about where if you get 10 souls total for him using the dagger um as far as a as a way to not necessarily kill the marks but just stab their corpse basically um then your souls will be free and you will keep your powers further contracts can be negotiated at such time is this a uh, very like a standard boilerplate murder for hire contract like we might sign with some of our bounties or are there any special uh, you know sub clauses or addendums that might be um, specific to this uh, deal no you don't see anything oh, it's like where standard. do I sign <clears throat> yep, I'm willing to sign if it's like a standard regular contract. Yeah, uh, at the bottom. Just a, just a boilerplate murder for hire. Yeah, Is there the worst a, a thing line I've ever there done? where it states like these people have done wrongdoings of that sort in there? Or does it just say any, whoever he chooses? It just says whoever he chooses. So, uh, Dolk is, like, unfurling this scroll, like, kind of in a circular pattern as it flops to the ground as he reads toward the bottom. Gets to the bottom and kind of generally understands the contract, so he looks up and he goes, uh, do you have a pen, or is this more of a, uh, blood situation? Uh, he snaps his, uh, finger, and a quill appears. Um, he hands it to you and says, a blood situation. Okay, so I, I take the quill, um, and I, I would presume that it's at least sharp enough that I can kind of run it across my palm so blood starts dripping down my hand, uh, wets the quill, signs Dolk with a very flourish and flowery D starting out his name. Nice. And then he hands it over to Draxus. Yep. Uh... Well, was Brock going to be making any comment on this before we did that? Uh, after, as he signs it, and I kind of see the last, I'm like, you said all of these people were bad in some way, shape, or form, but your contract does not reflect that. Well, it's just a generic contract that we usually use. So it's just individuals for murder. Wait, the individuals have been murderers? Or we're supposed to murder them. You're supposed to murder them. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I would be in the process of signing this as Brock is having this conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm not smart enough to like stop. It's like, yeah, okay, cut my hand. No, I. For this game, I rolled exceptionally well for intelligence, um, based off of what these stats usually look like. Is there anything, can I, like, can I just take an intelligence roll to see if there's anything that, like, might be missing or something that's fairly, uh, like, just in the blind spot to this right now? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, let's, let's see if I can get lucky. How to trip up a party 101 yeah. deal with the devil <laughs> yeah yeah um yeah so you read through it man and it's um it's surprisingly pretty straightforward as far as the requirements things to do like a lot of the times when there is a amendments you know or where there's not information about a certain topic um you know that could be like questionable but there are a lot of uh, to be determined uh, by the party um, things in, like that going on in this contract as far as you know time that's like hey this is the mark it's up to the party to get him and kill him okay 
Um, so it's it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Well, his ego's big enough that he's like, yeah, I think I understand this. But mm -hmm. like, he's not gonna be all like like the rest of it. He's like, guys, just fucking poke. Like he pokes his finger with on his rapier and then like draw uh, signs his name. And uh, ha passes it off to the last one of us to sign it. I'll take it and kind of nod over and go. I don't like it, but if the whole party's in, and I'll take and I'll do the same thing to do and just kind of poke the actual quill into the side of my arm enough to get some blood on it, and sign. Your pressure does work. See, I told you guys. <laughs> Only sometimes. Just gives you a mock stare. Like one of these days, I might not cast a healing spell on you when you need it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, because, you know, 50-50, the potion works. <laughs> Supplies um, are just so hard to obtain. All right. He uh, takes the contract back from you guys and uh, looks it over, uh, smiles, and then, you know, rolls it back up. It kind of like rolls into itself and the poof, poof. Well, looks like we are of an accord, my fine clients. Um, he waves his hand and you all feel a, a type of uh cold yet warm it's like an icy hot basically feeling go all over your body um as some of you kind of feel uh new powers within yourselves and it's all different for for you guys but just so you i can tell you about them right now um draxus okay you are able to harness this uh, devil chaos magic, basically, um, into your weapon as your focus. Um, you will have to focus every round, but doing so will cause your weapon to uh, basically uh, become inflamed. You will Ooh. do um, a 1d4 fire damage. It's a DC 9 to focus every round. What do, what do I have to roll? Is it just like a straight 20? D20? Or is it like a stat? It'll be off your strength. Off my strength? Yeah. Cool. That's my good one. Mm-hmm. And is, is, is that's like focus, it kind of works the same as concentration? Yeah, basically. Okay. So next round, you know, you'll be at, you have to do that check every round. Mm. E even if like she's not getting hit? Yeah. He's mm -hmm. not getting hit. Draxus is not getting hit. Okay. Yep. I believe it's Sorry, the I'm same. playing a guy, man. If you're hit too. <laughs> that's a, no, that seems like a very cool power. So it's a D4? Yeah. That's huge. That's a lot of damage for Shadow Dark based on how our last game went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure is. What else did we get from this... Uh, all right. Yeah, uh, per pearl tooth devil. Yeah. Sorry, sorry well, you said DC nine. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC nine. Oh, well, you guys blew up. Yep. Um, broke. Uh, you have the ability to hex. Um, basically, what you're going to be doing is you'll be able to concentrate on a creature that is near. Um, it's a focus of DC eleven, using your wisdom, and they'll have a negative two to their attack rolls. Uh, Dolk, you already kind of know what you have. You have an Eldritch Blast, which does 1d6 uh, damage. It's a DC 11 to cast for near. Let's go. And that's a um, a DC of what's my spell uh, casting? Yeah. Charisma? Should be, right? I don't know. I don't know. That's awesome, though. I'm super into that. I'm going to be blasting fools. Zendrin, uh, you have these uh, these kind of tendrils that go uh, like around you, like kind of like snakes almost. Um, you know their purpose. It's a essence eater. Whenever you kill somebody, um, as they are dying, these snakes like 
eat up a part of their soul and you gain two HP from their killing for from them dying. Oh boy. Whenever I kill somebody or whenever somebody dies near me? Um Hmm. Also, second tough question. Does his consumption of the souls to regain HP affect the souls that we owe the devil? No. Fantastic. We just decide to randomly kill a couple people that deserve it and stab them with the dagger. Can that count towards our total? No. He did say specifically that it's that he specifies. Yep. He has to let us know. Alright, so no extra credit. I got it. We can't Uh, just murder Hobo our party, and that's like three souls right there. Yeah. I will say uh, for Zindren, um, sure, it can be anyone, but it has to be close. So you have to be within melee range when it happens. When it happens. Okay. Okay. Does this kind of like a Medusa? Can can you RP what these tentacles look like to us? Um... They almost, I, the way I envision it, I think, is like, you see how I got that big flowing cape? Like, it almost looks like Ooh. leather straps come off of it. And Ooh, nice. like, just like, and they just kind of detach and reattach and detach. And then like, there's like little like snake heads at the end of the leather straps. And they, they just kind of mingle okay. in and out of the cape. So it's more of a Dr. Octopus situation and less of a Medusa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess. That's cool. That's cool. If it's uh, the Plague Doctor theme, Doc Ock. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, so it's like when I'm around people that I don't want to completely creep out, I kind of can kind of bring them back in and it just looks like a cape. Uh, you guys all experience your powers at the same time, basically. Sorry, that took a while. I had to, like, find my notes because I, I wrote those down separately from everything else um but uh so you get your powers uh they surge through you uh you start looking at them if you you know if you can um basically you know the guy in front of you he smiles sees all you guys uh testing out your stuff (laughs) yes good 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 you'll need them because uh the first contract starts now and the ground that you're standing on falls uh starts like uh breaking up kind of like a very quick (laughs) like uh um just breakthrough um and you fall down into a dark cavern (laughs) i'm like guys we forgot to ask where these people would be fuck (laughs) he calls down and he says Find the bandit leader. His name is Gruth. He's been hiding out in these caverns for about a week. He just killed someone. Go kill him. All right, guys, let's go kill Gruff. This this bandit's not going to kill itself. Let's get to marching, soldiers. I mean, he might. I've heard that bandits do that sometimes in jail cells when cameras go black. Oh god, I can't see. Um, so are we actually in the dark or are you still working on getting light in there? Oh, you guys are actually in the dark. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast light. Sick, god. dude. Oh god. Alright, first roll of the night oh, here, boys. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh nope. no! Oh. What? Oh. Uh. This is My great. My greatsword oh. is two-handed. Can somebody else use a fucking torch? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll spark up a torch because I don't really need my hands for things. Yo, hold on, Brock or Broke. Tell me uh, what you do when you try to cast this. I'm going to uh, pull up my mace and stare at it and try to like cast a spell onto it, and it just goes whoop, and then just goes right back to dark again. Oh, well, yeah. that didn't go so well, guys. Uh, Drexus is like, so, uh, when's the light coming? Tomorrow. There you go. Calm down. Ugh. Bro, come on. Not again. Hey, magic's tricky business. I haven't been doing this all my life. Don't just swing a big sword around. 
there's much more to swinging a big sword than just swinging a big sword. I mean, so, so Dolk, um, Dolk hitting looks things. over. Dolk looks over at 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 Bro, kind of in disgust, and you see this just rosy red hue start to enter his cheeks. And he's like, "Broke, oh, this again." You're the reason our enemies laugh at us. Are you trying to sabotage this mission with your incompetence? Your mother must be ashamed of what she spawned. <laughs> and um, and uh, I, um, this is this is my um, RP for my inspiration mechanic. So I, I cast uh, inspiration on on broke. Tough love. Uh. Oh, I love it. Is this like at top of lungs, <laughs> bro? Bro. Uh, after you, uh, you do all that. I just look at you and go. You really need to get better at your speeches. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> um. So element of surprise is now gone. I wait, thought we wait, had that wait, conversation wait. last time. Wait, just just a moment, because let's uh, let me let me get some uh, legalese jargon in here for a second. I believe that Dolt should have a, a feat or whatever you want to call it um, that reduces the DC of my performance by three. Uh, yeah, so oh, it's nine, and you rolled an eight. Oh fuck! Yeah, I, I put that was, in there. I thought it was. <laughs> oh damn it! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you rolled a six. Oh my god. Uh, Oh, that's tragic. That's tragic. All right. Well, while you're bitching at him, hold this while I try to make something. Okay. I'm I'm going to attempt to make, uh, seeing how their spells aren't working and they're kind of useless, I'm going to attempt to make my remedy mask and, and make it a mask infusion. So I guess that's uh, a 12. I have to, it was that intelligence, 12. Come on! Wait, or do I just do it? Oh, okay, I just roll and then check. Yay! Yay! Something's working. So, like, I put, I shove the torch into your hand for a second, and then like grab a couple of supplies, mix them up, shift a vial, and then you see it like stick it into my mask, and it just goes right into the mask. And I'm like, give me the back. All right, cool. Pull out my rapier. Let's do this. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Oh, that shit. That's the stuff. Oh. <laughs> we good? I will never get used to looking at that. My ears are ringing go. from the uh, reverberations of his quote unquote ep talk. <laughs> nice. Oh. All, right, All right, so. We're going to start doing the round thing. So in this round, what are you guys doing? I so, figured that was the round. Yeah. <laughs> North, uh, east, southeast, or west? I'm going to start heading east and take a look around that way. Oh, I moved. East. Yeah, I guess if we need to stay within torch distance. So do we all want to just go in this direction? Uh, I'm not going first, but I'll start following if somebody goes in a direction. Yeah, no, I, so. I want to always be in front. I just need to be able to see. All right. What is my AC? 13? Wow, my AC is only 13. All right, you guys head over. I have uh, mine. You guys head over, over somebody here. Somebody just moved my... Oh. Yeah, I'm moving you guys over to where you would go to the next round, basically. Mm -hmm. While trying to keep you in the same kind of formation. Okay. Um, torch bearer, please, please keep up. Yeah. I wasn't sure if we were doing this. He's by. too busy smelling his intoxins. Mm. I, I remember those toxins saving your ass that one time, so you use your holy power and I'll stick to what's here on Earth. Hey, come on, Torchbearer. Alright, right, one All right. second. Yeah, you yeah. guys are mm -hmm. stuck right there. 
you guys come to this um, larger section of the cave. Uh, you guys can kind of see not that far actually with the torch, but you see that this opens up a little bit. You got a way to the north. You got a, looks like a small passageway to the left and then a larger uh, cavernous area down uh, below you to the south. And can I listen in this area? You can if you'd like to, yes. I would like to. I would like to succeed. Fuck me. Um, let's see, what is that? Um, you hear off into the distance over here. Um, as you guys were talking, um, walking this way. You disturb something from uh, the darkness. In, in this direction, which is this direction. Yes. Okay. Take one step back. And because why is that not moving? Because he's paused. Oh, paused. Fuck. Mm -hmm. It's a day. <laughs> I wanted to. I want to kind of like block this area. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna kind of move up behind uh, our dragonborn a little bit farther back, though, like right there. Okay. Because uh, yeah, I can't that. see. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, you guys, uh, you get here and uh, Draxus, you here off into this side over here. Um, some weird, like animal noises i guess you would say you don't know if they're an insect or if they're animal as you see tentacles first coming out of the darkness coming towards you guys there's a tentacle monster oh shit i'm gonna like have these to <laughs> oh what the fuck oh, it's so bro. cute it is kind of dude that's awesome you think we can train it do you think they'll allow me to pet it What's the pet rolling mechanic in Canada? <laughs> They're supposed uh, to look scary. <laughs> um, these things uh, take one look at you, though, and you hear a roar go off. Oh God. I it roar just, not so cute. Actually, not so cute. <laughs> it just ran away. Yeah, I look I'm at sorry. the ceiling. Oh. I'm, I'm like like moving things around. I'm like, oh, no, it's not their turn yet. So we are actually going to go into uh, initiative now as these things roar and make their way towards you that you have disturbed. I roar back. <laughs> okay. I, I want to hear it. Yeah. Roar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be a disadvantage intimidation roll. <laughs> I just look up at the ceiling and be like, "You said people, asshole!" <laughs> All right, I'm getting you guys in combat. Can we roll? Oh, there's my now? roll. Look at that. Yes, you can. Nice. There we go. Okay, I'd totally wait for everybody to do dark anything. Dark mantles. Anyways. I love dark mantles. Some of my favorite monsters. All right. Uh, first up is Draxus. Uh, the first one, in there, you know, the first one coming into this area, you're able to move super quick. Heard him well, coming. Well, I can't see them. So I'm going to move up here because I know they're coming from that direction. So I'm going to move here. And when they get within range, I'm going to smack them with my sword. Uh, can I flame it can i can i make it flame yeah go ahead so i do believe there is no holding oh cool you see uh there is no like holding actions in this game oh frickety frack oh well i'm gonna move here then okay and present myself as the biggest target and i'm going to try and intimidate them to uh Come and attack me by roaring. Rawr. Rawr. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> roll a strength check to see how your intimidation goes. 11. Yeah, uh, it's not bad. You know, they, they may, uh, may have jumped, but you can't really tell because they float. 
Uh, you see this uh, dark mantle come up to you and try to attack you. For does a fourteen hit? Yep. Uh, for wow, max damage, four points of um, of damage as this this octopus like thing like wraps around like your arm and like sinks its like sucker teeth into you. Oops. Well, Draxus might die, guys. Hey, it was a, a good run. You got you know we've been playing for an hour, so. <laughs> No? Yeah, dude. Coming and seeing you and right in front of it, roaring at him. It goes to attack you to help out. It's a buddy. Or it's lover, you don't know. Uh, does a 12 hit? No. Oh, it misses. Ooh, you were ready bad. for it from the first bite getting you. You were able to, like, duck out or, you know, move out of the way. All right, Dulk, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to come and move down here and seeing these squid-like creatures attack Draxus kind of see Dolk set up like kind of in a central area of the room and puffs his chest out kind of that, that same feeling you got before he was given his inspirational speech to Broke and just starts hurling these violent obscenities at these uh, squid creatures. Is that all you got? My grandma hits harder than you. And these insults just keep on slinging just one off, one off. You fight like a a tantrum! (laughs) And uh, cast Fascinate. Okay. Nice. Oh, oh, oh nice. <laughs> Wish you could have did that on the Inspire. <laughs> Your battle cry stand sounds like a cat stuck in a tree. As he yells this one last, you know, bravado, and uh, I need to roll a d4. Yeah, you did a critical then... success, so roll 2d4. Oh, okay. But if we attack oh. them, then they stop, right? Mm-hmm. So essentially, the way that it works is that they are all basically stuck there for as long as I am performing, which is for four turns. But if mm-hmm. anything happens to them, if you attack them or you do anything to disturb them, then they are no longer fascinated. Yeah, like this is a very OP kind of thing to where they're, everyone in this area that's an enemy is just staring at you as you're like going off kind of knife handing them and stuff they're just like taken aback like what the fuck like they don't even understand your language but your tone and everything is just like captivate them as they're like ah what do we do kind of you know expression on their (laughs) octopus face I guess alright is that your turn yes that's my turn alright Brock, uh, it's your turn, or Broke, as you see Dolk go up there and just start, you know, chewing into these octopuses. Octopi. Octopi. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> run forward, rub my hands together as I run forward, and then put them on the back of Draxus and cast Cure Wounds. Nice. Oh, wow, baby. Hell yeah. The right. Nat 20 boys. The Nat 20 boys. Oh my. Alright, so that's. Two. Just... Yeah. D6s. That's... We have never failed a spell casting roll before. All 20s, all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please don't say that. Oh my god. Wow, oh, nice, cool. dude. Wow. Yeah, we'll be kill. Yeah. Just. So I look up and I just go, boom, and you feel rejuvenated, and I go, get back at him, and then I back off, <laughs> back to where I, uh, just behind the performing, um, tiefling, is what you said you were, yes? Dolk is a tiefling, yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to move back to try to cover your, uh, your side, and that'll be it for my turn. I can't move anymore. Thank you, Brock. Very much appreciated. And then I grin. <laughs> Nice. Uh, 
Sindrin, your turn. All right. Uh, having seen him, like, knowing that, like, I'm sure we've seen him do this before. I'm like, fuck, he's at it again. But it apparently seems to be working. So I'm going to take my turn to attempt to uh, make a toxin and apply it to my rapier. Okay. Uh, toxin's a 13 ra uh, uh, for an injure. It's plus zero. So... Here we go. See if I can do it. I need to roll a 10 or higher. Beautiful. All right. Can you can you also move forward? Yeah, uh, that was my action, so I still have a move. Yeah. Beautiful. So, uh I'm going to uh well down here and uh That'll be my turn. So right now I have a toxin coated uh, rapier. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. You did the injure one, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that'll be my turn for uh, since we're holding turn, yep. we all attack. Yep. All right, Draxus, it's your turn. As these uh, octopi are just not even paying attention to you anymore. Cool. Uh, I turn around. I look at my guys and I go, uh, can I go now? Can I attack them? I hold up my poison rapier. God damn it, my flames go out. I like look at my sword and I shake it a couple of times. And I'm like, for fuck's sake, stupid fucking devil. <laughs> and uh... then, yeah, I'm gonna attack the guy on the left. Okay. I probably miss. Yes, you do miss. As um, you go to swing, your the fire completely goes out, and you're like, "What the fuck?" And it just causes you to like jerk a little bit. And hearing you cuss, this um, dark mantle like snaps back, looks at you, and like dodges out of the way. Oh, that's a point. Does that? them being distracted give me any bonus oh yeah it was advantage oh then i get to roll again oh i'm sorry i thought it did i, I saw the two dice roll i keep forgetting that it rolls with uh damage 10 you miss god damn it i'm sorry <laughs> does missing make them hostile yes yeah because okay. you took you took an action against them mm. okay um, this dark mantle, uh, seeing what's going on, snaps out and goes to attack you, uh, Draxus. Yep. For two damage as it bites into you. Next, the other dark mantle. Your scene is over. The other dark mantle should not be able to move, correct? Uh, He's no. still transfixed. No, it when when uh, Draxus took an attack on them, it broke it. Oh, it breaks it for all of them. Okay. Yeah. Well, That's a shame. You don't have to perform anymore. That's true. Uh, this one goes to attack you, Dolt, the one that was screaming at it. All right. You don't like that. For an eight, does an eight hit? Of course not. Oh man, you're so good. That stuff. Is that all you've got? You sorry excuse for a warrior? It looks really sad right now. Like, why are you <laughs> yelling at it? <laughs> I've seen more fight in a wet paper bag. <laughs> Don't get your turn. Okay. What's um, paper? Great question. It'll be invented in a hundred years or so. All right, I'm going to take a step back. You know, I don't like how close I am to everybody's business. Seeing that my uh, fixation by these uh, octopi creatures is, is no longer, I'm going to take a step back from the battle and uh, test out my newly found devil powers on the one uh, closest to me. Okay. Uh, DC 11. Okay. And just a straight charisma roll. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Uh, 
um, man, you go to the cast it like you did with the boulder, and there's just something off. The the fire comes out, but it kind of sputters and just falls into the ground. We definitely got the short end of this deal. Yeah, I, t- I, I try to shoot it out, and, and it's just, like, not working as hard as I try. And is it... You think it's too late to go back on that deal yet? <laughs> Did you put no, your I blood don't. on the paper? <laughs> that'll be uh, that'll be my turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, Baroque, it's your turn. Uh, I think I'm going to try that uh, that hex. See if that works. Okay. So I'm going to uh, clip my uh, my mace to my hip. And yeah. put out my hand, and you're just gonna see like um, a hexagonal shape appear, and then shoot at this. Uh, what did you call them? Octopus thing. Yeah, dark mantles. Dark mantle. How do I cast that again? Uh, just roll a wisdom save or a wisdom check. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. The, this hexagonal uh, shape goes out and then just fades. Yep, we got the shit into the stick, boys. You guys just don't know how to use these powers right. See, you waste waste your time with magic. The I'm real world has everything you need. Move between here, trying to uh, cover the tiefling, and that'll be my turn. Okay. <laughs> Zindrin, it's your turn. Um, the... My options seem pretty simple at the moment. Uh, I'm going to take my newly coated uh, rapier and uh, stab this guy right in front of me. Okay. Come on. Nice. Yes. For max damage. And if it's still alive, it needs to roll a DC 12 con check. Um, Unfortunately, man, uh, that kills him. So uh, how do you kill him? Oh, yeah, I just go, and I stab it right in one of its eyeballs. And then as it's, like, dying, you see my snake, like, the snake heads pop out. And they're just, like, in the most disturbing way you've ever seen. It just, each snake head starts eating the tentacles. It just, until it, it, it like, it just swallows the tentacles up into its head. And then <laughs> rips it in half, and it just... And then the snakes go back into my cloak. As so, that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and put my hand over. Uh, what is that? Crap! I'm creating the name already. <laughs> <laughs> over Dolt's eyes, just like you don't want to see this. <laughs> He's a bard. He's done to more divorce. I've seen I've I've seen hungry sh- soldiers eat at Chow Hall, but nothing like this monstrosity. <laughs> <sighs> Um, and then uh, I'm gonna go move myself over here to help. No. Yeah, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Didn't even need the health. All right. So <laughs> I just want to clarify that toxin is is gone now on your rapier. Okay. Okay. You left it all in the uh, the octopus that you just stabbed. Well, it worked, didn't it? Yeah. But did you need it? <laughs> Better have and not need. Yeah. That's true. It's, it's, uh, oh, shit. Sorry. Pretty powerful stuff, though. Uh, Draxus, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to move between, and I'm going to uh, great sword. Do it. Wow. Nope. That was almost a 19. My D&D curse is continuing yeah you uh you go too low Although and it just kind of floats up a little bit this isn't D. no <laughs> oh Drax can i check like... to see if my sword re- reignites oh yeah you can try that <laughs> it does of nice huge there we <laughs> go at least my flaming sword is flaming yeah it flames again blacks flames when you step DM next to me, question. I whisper to you, and I say, like, if I kill more than you, you're buying the next rounds. Yeah, I know. This is not working in my favor, and that fucking hurts. 
<laughs> As you look back to talk, uh, the dark mantle just goes and like tries to bite you, but he only gets a pinky. <laughs> and it does you for one damage. So you're at... Are you doing your own health? Or can I do yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm doing it. Okay, okay. Alright, uh, that's uh, Dolk's turn. Failing to make uh, excellent use of my newfound powers uh, granted to me by Barney. I'm just going to take a step back and kind of lean back on what has been a reliable weapon for me in my past and pull out my short bow to shoot. <laughs> okay. Old reliable, I say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You are reliable. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> what happened with the zero? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not my day, boys. Roll a d4 for me. I like the sound of this. No, wait. I swear, if you fucking stab me in the ass, I'm gonna kill Let's you. Let's go. That's a four, baby. Big four. <laughs> I don't think that's in your favor. I think that goes the other way for those. If I remember right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Draxus. <laughs> I'm just Do like... I take four points of damage? Yeah, you take four points of damage. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm at two hit points. As this arrow it shoots you from behind? Question mark. <laughs> Ouch. It, oh, he's gonna fucking kill you. Dra Draxus, I yelled duck. To you shoot. did not yell duck. You yelled duck after you stabbed me, you fucker. I'm, I'm surrounded by idiots. Your, your big reptilian ass is in the way. <laughs> Get a better angle next time. Um, broke it's your God, I, hope, I hope you brought your A game because this is embarrassing. <laughs> As they're sitting there yelling at each other, I'm just going to go. <sighs> and then cast <laughs> my uh, cure wounds on Draxus again. Woohoo! Nice. And D6. I don't know if the dice thing. rolls are synced, but I saw that thing rock off a of one. Hmm. Nice. For two points of, uh, of healing. Ah, yay. <laughs> Thank you, Brock. Again, you are the MVP. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm out of this shit. I'm just going to back up from you two and let you guys fight. <laughs> That'll be my turn. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what At the that? worst possible moment, the torch goes out. No, I don't know. God damn it! Uh, yeah, so the the um, torch goes out. Is lighting a torch an action or a bonus action? I would I'm say it's an action. Be... Okay. There are no bonus actions. Okay. Huh. Uh, Zindrin, it's your turn as uh, darkness envelops you um well god damn it i was gonna gonna win the bet uh, fine and uh, all right as darkness uh you know yeah takes over mm -hmm. um zindrin pulls out another torch sparks it and steps the fuck out of the way. All right, Drax is back to you. All right, let's see. Going to see if my flaming sword remains flaming. It does. Yay. Fucking if I miss again, I'm going to shit bricks. Fifteen? <laughs> Fifteen uh, does indeed hit. How do you kill this thing? Oh, well, I need to find out how much burnage... Oh, it's... Um, it just like gets super pissed off, knocks the the arrow out of my ass, and with my sword, and then spins around and like slams it down as it cuts it like hot knife in butter with the flaming blade. Nice. Just really glad I stepped out of the way. Yeah, just blood a everywhere. Of, a lot of blood. 
Oh, yeah, these guys, these dark mantles, man, I tell you what. And then I want to come over here, because it's still my turn. All right. Uh, you wait for a second, a moment passes, and there's silence. And you don't see anything else coming at you. You're no longer in combat. Nice. Oh, those things oh. are... I'm going to walk into the center of the group and go, Draxus, you need more healing? Hell yeah. I'm going if it to wasn't attempt... for a fucking Dulk, we'd be fine. I'm going to look at you Listen. and go, I'm going to get fucking bloody doing this. Uh, can I cast Cure Wounds? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to move up the direction to see like what they were protecting. That was okay. just barely. Mm. Okay, I need to not Ooh. do that. Yay. Ooh, nice. That was a good roll. I'm almost back to full health. Yeah. Fuck One yeah. point up. Perfect. All um, right. And I wipe blood off my hands like, ugh. Thank you, Dulk. Or not Dulk, Brock. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. I mean, he did shoot you in the ass. <laughs> He did. Trying to keep you on your toes, soldier, and you failed. <laughs> I you... think it is a failing of the person that released the arrow, knowing full well I was there. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna have to go with Draxus on this one. This is a small training incident, guys. Nothing to be worried about. Okay, we're ironing out the kinks. Uh, can I search this area? Uh, yeah, you can. I'm going but, to help. Like, I'm going to follow behind so I don't get left in darkness. Wisdom? Well, perception? This is your guys' round, so you guys are searching. Um, while Draxus, you are searching, you know, Broke is on your, on your butt, basically trying to heal you. Dulk, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. I'm just kind of following the group, um, in, uh, kind of investigating along with them okay cool what are you guys investigating um the octopi the this area uh the walls i am currently uh doing their nest all right cool yeah you come upon their their nest um and right by it there's a couple corpses they've been long picked apart i guess you would say um there's a few scraps but most of it is just all rotted uh it's just basically skeletons and like nasty super dry leathery looking skin um go ahead draxus and roll a d100 and then zindrin you're also looking go ahead and roll a d100 All right, Draxus, you find on one of the corpses a uh, dusty leather armor dyed black. It's uh, still in good condition. You could probably get like 10 gold for it. I will put that in my bag. And Zindrin, you find two empty glass vials. You could use them or you could sell them for six gold each. Mm -hmm. Well, I can always use more... Uh more vials for making stuff during uh during this time as uh the two of them are investigating kind of the nest um i would kind of be investigating the octopi creatures that we killed like just trying to understand maybe a little bit about their anatomy or if they are potentially similar to any other creatures that we may have come or i may have come across in my past or heard from um in stories okay sounds good you start poking through um the one that uh drax is cut in half basically right so you start looking at their anatomy, you find their brain, you start looking through their, you know, their stuff, and you actually find something um, inside one of the stomachs. Ooh. What did they okay. eat? Um, I, uh, I grab it and kind of try to do my best to clean off the, the kind of goo and bile that has accumulated. 
Dole, what the fuck are you doing? I can use some of those toxins. Ah. Ah. Cool. Uh, go ahead and roll a d6. Okay. Middle of the pack, okay. Oh god. Damn, please. Damn, please. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It, well, it's magic. So, um, you pull out like this parchment that's uh, inside the stomach, and you have a weird relationship with magic. Like through your words, your aggressive tone, and everything, you kind of like just amplify the sound waves in a way that become fully charged with magic. So you, you're kind of aware of it. Um, you find a scroll within this um, this dark mantle, which it must have ate whatever, you know, uh, the, the person that was holding the scroll, it would just ate everything, kind of like a garbage disposal. But the scroll wouldn't break down because it's magic. All right, that tracks. Um, am I able to tell what it is a scroll of? Uh, yes. It is a scroll of acid arrow. Let's I, go. Huge. Okay. Yeah, I'll put that in your inventory. And I'll slap that bad boy in my inventory. Now, if you can just learn how to shoot arrows, we'll be good. As you start to put this scroll into your bag, you're going to put that in your bag? All That's right, covered good. in filth. Use the head bag. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a little bit too important to be putting in the head bag. Okay, it's, we we've cleaned it off enough. <sighs> what was it? The magical scroll. This uh, this creature must have eaten some sort of spellcaster, but the potent power of the magic prevented the dissolution of the spell scroll. Not a good it did its owner. He's he's using the big words to try and make me look dumb. <laughs> I did not understand I, anything he just said. I'm gonna look at Draxus and be like, he used big words, but I don't know if he used them properly either, so Ah. Well I, <laughs> he was I pretty know. close. <laughs> You better watch out, or you might be getting another arrow in your backside. You do it again. I cannot guarantee I won't smack you with my sword. Oh gosh. You could try. <sighs> yes, let's I go. Think try would be the ample word. Let's let's continue forth. Can I um like pummel gr pummel stab him? You can <laughs> do whatever you want to. I don't want to do like damage. I just want to like see if I can smack him with the pummel. Uh, do it. You can't. You couldn't. You sure. you couldn't. <laughs> you won't do it. Is that just the do best a, you can do? Just do your a strength check. Shaky as your resolve. A strength check? <laughs> yeah. There you 18? go. <laughs> As as the word <laughs> resolve leaves your lips, uh, you get backhanded <laughs> across your face. <laughs> With uh, you said a pummel, pummel, yep. the yeah, backside of the sword, yeah, yeah, dude, you just get hit in the in the jaw or in the teeth, basically, by the pummel of a uh, Draxus's great sword. <laughs> you see, um, his like Dolk just like his face whips over from this, you know, hard hit, and he's kind of doubled over with his hands at his, at his hips, catching his breath for a second, and spits out this big glob of like just blood on the ground and is that it? I've seen more fight in the house plan. <laughs> oh, <shit. sighs> like, like, let's find this captain before he kills you. Hey, at least Draxx is hitting something now. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh. Well then. Uh, there's nothing over here. Well, I'm I don't going know. The, the... To pointedly ignore that as his spine stand on end. 
<laughs> and as we're as we're kind of walking away to the to the next group, I kind of come up to Draxus. I pat him on the back and I say, "Oh, what a hit! Great job." <laughs> <laughs> are you being sarcastic or are you being truthful no no yeah fully, no sarcastic fully truthful okay <laughs> like yeah next time just don't hit me with the arrow well they're having their spat i'm checking over in this corner to see if there's anything but kind of just giving it a cursory glance yeah you guys uh i will take say this takes like a couple of rounds um but you guys uh, get down there, and you guys don't find anything. Where are you guys moving to after that? You guys um, uh, don't find anything else in this area. While they're Keep looking, can I listen to can see if I south? hear anything? Yeah, go ahead and uh, roll a wisdom check. Ooh, wisdom, right? what is this? Nope. None. All right. I'm going to not get left behind. Yeah, I see this What rope. What is, what what is, is this? Traxus, uh, as you guys are moving down there, uh, down this way, um, you look over on the wall and you see some vines that are kind of like uh, moving along it. And they're moving slowly along Backing the up. wall. Yeah, ooh, I wouldn't ooh. get close if I saw them moving. Can we I have... um, flaming sword smack them? Uh, you, uh... you would have to have done a few checks to see if it's still going because this is a couple rounds after. Oh. Which you can't. I would need two checks from you, though. Have I one? seen one of these things before? No. Okay. I mean, they look like vines, but they move. Uh, yeah, so you're sword? flaming sword. Twelve. Uh, you hit, and the uh, the vine itself uh, cuts in half and starts burning, and you see him like wiggling, like freaking out. I don't know if you should have done that. Uh, what have we got ourselves into, Draxus? Oh. Well, it shouldn't be moving. Can I, like, try and pin part of the moving wiggly bit to the ground with my the tip of my sword? Yeah, go ahead. Alright. They need to come out with, like, a UI that, like, don't have to keep going into my thing. Mm -hmm. And a D4. Nice. You uh you hold it down. You keep uh hacking away at it. Um, it continues to move. Hmm. This is weird, guys. I'm not liking this. I'm gonna move a little bit more to the south and see if there's anything uh making noise down here. I will bring my torch with you. Um, as you guys are moving down this way, uh, Broke, you notice all along this wall, ever since Draxus chopped that, um, also on this side too, all of the vines are starting to move and wiggle around very erratically. <laughs> Shit. Draxus! You might want to stop! Uh, okay. I advise we retreat from this area as I start backing up. All right, I will ooh, hold it right there. You hear uh, coming, f at, like, as Broke is saying that, you already hear some weird screeches and some movement coming from the darkness. Oh, hold on, I gotta roll. Yeah. Having me in a game equals chaos. I, I apologize in advance. Well, not advance, because it's already in a... It's too late. It's too late, it's yeah. It's way too late. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Uh-oh. From the darkness, you guys see a, a childlike creature coming your way. Oh, interesting. Oh, God. Mushroom goblins. Okay. Um, we are going to take a break right there. Beautiful. Uh, as combat comes again. <laughs> 